you have reached the As Yet Undecided podcast. We are unavailable to, t- to have this podcast right now. However, we are using a old podcast. Beep! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be funny if you lost a life and then you had to start back to the start of the day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, that would be an interesting video game. Uh, how about... Actually, in saying that, yep. if we had real life yes. like that, which part would you like to be the save point? Oh. Meals. Meals is your save point? Yeah. Okay. Well, three meals a day, so... Plus bed. So meals plus bed. So, um, multiple saves? Yeah. <laughs> or you can just save scumming. Like, every like every single time you touch your computer, you, you save. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we could talk about this all day. <laughs> How about you? What would you like to be your save point? Your I, 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 well, I don't know. It's like, you, you, you know, most video games, it's either a place that you rest. Yeah. Or typewriter. Oh, well, yeah. Resident Evil, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resident Evil is typewriter. Um, um, also, you get also get auto saves by walking into a new room. Well, yeah, but like, you're like, like GTA which is usually when you go home. Um Dark Souls is when you light a fire. Um <laughs> It'd be funny if it was the Crash Bandicoot one. Which is? You hit a box and it says completely outside is his checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> oh like you have to smash your smash a box. You you have to smash a box. The, the, you have to smash the the C box oh. is his checkpoint <laughs> how about um super mario platforms to get from place to place like you, there's no longer stairs you have to jump oh yes and there's just a random amount of green pipes everywhere <laughs> yeah i don't want to see that happening how about barrels just rolling down all of a sudden out of nowhere like donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. Yeah, like that, that would actually be pretty. You funny. don't want to see that merchandise happening in real life. How about um, okay, video game merchandise you would not see, rather not see in real life. Were you? I would not want to see the flood. I don't really want to see the flood. The flood? Yeah. What's that? It's the bad people from Halo. That's not a merchandise. You can get figurines, can't you? Oh, yes, true. You don't want the figurines to come back to life, okay. Yes. Um, I talked about the uh, the Lancer from uh, Gears of War. Yeah. It is a semi-automatic gun with a chainsaw attachment. <laughs> in, in, instead of a bay- bayonet. Yeah. It's a it, chainsaw. It's a chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, reenacted. Yes. Um, I did talk about the plasma sword from Halo. Mm-hmm. Because that's a one-shot kill. Yeah. Um, the sledgehammer, that's another weapon. Um, yeah. How about the big pil- purple dildo sword from uh, Saints Row 4? And what did you say after that in our conversation? What? It already exists. Yes. <laughs> oh! Um, I, don't, I forgot what game it's from. Um, the unicorn. It's from Saints Row 4 as well. What does that do? Destroys everything. <laughs> it's, it's, was it um, unicorn farts? Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, in The Witcher, stuff in The Witcher. Oh, um, merchandise. Maybe, would it? Would the necklace that glows whenever you see evil people? Would that be helpful? Oh, okay. Um, an- another thing that we would like to talk about is that would you really want to know how much XP you were getting? Yes. On, on, on things that you were doing? Yes. If you were reading law and then you got plus 15 XP, would that make you happier? Yes. <laughs> how about, okay, other video game merchants I see would rather not see real Pokeballs. Can you imagine the enslavement opportunities? Like, you can just basically press a ball and enslave people with it? <laughs> enslave people? Yeah. 
No, you you are encapsulating an animal. Or people. You get well, people are animals too, you know. Okay. So human trafficking will go off right on the no, roof. No, because what you are personifying animals. Well, uh, well, Homo sapiens. Well, Homo sapiens. Well, technically animals. No, 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 if, no, no. Okay, no, 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 here's no, no, the bait. No. Can Pokeballs work on people? No, they cannot work on people. Why not? The Pokeballs. If you take the Pokemon universe, yeah, there is no humans. It's Pokemon. Yeah. So what? What do the humans do in the Pokemon universe? Why do we have them? But either trainers or nurses, they have normal jobs. Why can't they be in taking them Pokeballs? What makes di- Pokemon different from humans? Okay, if this was going to exist, <laughs> this would be the new slave trade. <laughs> yes. Instead of row, row, row your boat, it's just like, I choose you! Adrian, go! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yes, well, human trafficking would be so much easier with Pokeballs. Yes, it would be. Yeah. So that's why I don't want Pokeballs. I'm not sure about the baggage allowance, though. Why is that? I'm not sure if you'll be over 25 kilos carrying <laughs> around a whole bunch of humans in your Pokeball. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though, right? Um, I've, I've heard that Pokeballs convert uh, whatever they're scanning into data. Yes. So, therefore, Pokeballs are actually super light. So that's why you can carry, like, a 10-ton mystical precursor Pokemon monster in your pocket. Also known as an onyx, but okay, we'll go with that. No, it's not just an onyx, you know. Yes, but I was talking about that as an example. Yeah. That's why you can carry an onyx around in your pocket, even though the onyx is like... Wait. Ten stories high and... Just have another thought. Yeah? Does that mean that Pokeballs are Bluetooth enabled? They have to be. Yeah. And then your Pokedex would be your 3G, essentially. Yes. Huh. Does that make more sense now? Yes and no. Oh, yes and no. Uh. <laughs> oh, we can talk about the ethics of Pokemon all day. Like, you just basically have enslavement of Pokemon and animals. And hey, isn't that something to talk about in Pokemon Rangers? Yes. Yeah. And considering that I studied ethics last year. Yeah. Yeah. The ethics of Pokemon. <laughs> that should be like a, its own paper. <laughs> the ethics of Pokemon. Yeah. How, how to be a ethical Pokemon trainer. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, what else? Video game merchandise you'd rather not see. Uh, Daleks. No, no, no. They're no! Not, they're not really video merchandise, are they? No, they're not. I mean, you have... Doctor Who, no, never mind, sorry. Uh, what else? Modding. Mods. Yeah. Oh, would you, oh, I'd rather not have GLaDOS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or all, all those turrets. <laughs> oh, those turrets would be great. Um, but that means it all kicks the lies. Yeah, no, not necessarily. Oh, well, one cake is a lie. Yes. One cake. That cake was a lie. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Anything else? Like, any other video game merchandise you'd rather not see? No. How about, those, how about the poor food? Like, some of the food in there is disgusting. The food in what? Video games. Some food in video games is disgusting. Please give an example. Uh, let's see. Um, if you actually did look at the recipe for cake under portal, it's like, oh yeah, so you, you're going to combine fish with chocolate. <laughs> like, tuna and chocolate? No. Uh, what else? Um, I thought some of the food you can eat, you can eat in Fallout is pretty disgusting. Mole rats? Humans? Yeah, um... Yeah. Hmm. I wasn't thinking that that in depth about um, there are people that actually make it per the recipe oh yes um, there is a Kirini's Kitchen there is a there is a YouTube 
um, thingy called Kiyorini's Kitchen in which um, there's this guy who actually tries to find the video game recipes and replicate them in real life. Yes. Any, anyone else does it? No, 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 no. You completely stole my thunder. Sorry. You, well told, me I, you told me I should talk more because really you talked a lot with the protein powder. Yeah. But unfortunately Mike does not like Kiyorini's Kitchen because it's too slow. Yeah. I like it too straight straight and to the point. Yeah, well, Mike likes his humour to be more like a machine gun rather than uh, a slow meandering river. Or a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's me, isn't it? Yeah, you are, you are a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Sni- sniper rifle, yeah. If you notice me in video games, I tend to take snipe, the sniping position. Yes. Yes. Or as people like to call it, a camper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or block bombs. That's my other one. Me, I used to be a camper, but when it comes to platformers, yes, I want to be very fast. <laughs> yes, whereas I'll be up, whereas I'll be up up top and getting rid of some of your enemies for you before they can shoot you. Whereas you get rid of the rest, right? Yeah. Yes. That's usually the plan. Yeah. You well, we make a good team because we actually cover two different bases. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about two different bases: frozen versus fresh veggies. Now, now, because we've been wanting to talk about this for a while. Yeah, the frozen veggies lock in the freshness. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and, what? And because because I I am on a semi strict diet. Yeah. And because um the fresh versus frozen debate. Mm. And I actually struck a nerve with Sophie. In regards to vegetables. Explain. I forgot. Because you prefer fresh over frozen. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Damn, I forgot. Because, you, like, I can understand where you're coming from. That um, a lot of the nutrients get lost from, from fresh to frozen. Oh, yes. It does make a lot of sense. But if you don't have the storage capabilities required for that... For fresh? Yes. That's why frozen is preferential first. For you? Yes. Because you're broke. No, I wouldn't say broke. It's just that I just don't have enough room. Oh, yeah, and you live in a hostel. Yes. If I, if I had a, a bigger fridge... Possibly. Bigger fridge space, you mean? Yes. So how much fridge space are you allowed to use? Like, do you get allocated, like, half a cubic metre? No. The, uh, the only fridge that I am allowed is the one right beside you. Oh. How are the freezers downstairs? The freezers come on a first come and first, first serve, serve basis. basis. And there is, it, the all not fridges, they're all freezers. Wow. And one of them has a padlock on it. Okay, the padlock is there for no real reason whatsoever. So you can just open it? No, well they did it because when people jam stuff into it, it tends to open. <laughs> so they put the padlock over it so it stops reopening. Ah, oh, but the padlock is unlocked. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. <Yes. laughs> oh and, man. But, and it is also easier to move. Ah uh, yes, I see. But with the fresh, but with the frozen veggies, you don't get a lot of choice. I'll have to say that. Uh, it's it's a lot better than what it used to be. Well, in your childhood, remnants back in your childhood. What's your frozen veggie, uh, peak choices? Um, it was mixed veggies or not, uh, it was like your small vegetables. And that was it. So peas. it was like peas, beans, or mixed vegetables. Or corn. Peas, beans, or corn. Yeah. Now, and now? N- now there's a large selection of different types and uh, different styles. Yes. I know Waddy's likes to hit the stir fry market pretty well. In regards to their cultured selections, we'll call it that. <laughs> Culturally appropriated. Yes. 
like fake Asian. Or it were even different types of fake Asian. Fake Indian. No, 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 no. I mean, mean like they'll have a Vietnamese one. Fake Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. And and the only difference is is the vegetable arrangement. Oh, so yes. like one would have bamboo shoots and all the rest wouldn't have them. Oh uh, yeah, I see. And what's your favourite frozen veggie mix? It is always stir fry in some form or another. Um, I usually go for the select versions of the stir fry and they come in two different types. Yes. And I usually prefer the eastern one because it has less broccoli in it. And you don't like broccoli? I don't like broccoli. Oh, for shame. Yes, because it produces more uric acid. And it makes your fingers swell up. <laughs> your gout. <laughs> My favourite vegetable is um, a, cum- a kumquat. No, what's that? It's a fruit. I was thinking that <laughs> kumquats are those decorative fruit, decorative bitter as fruits that grows up in the backyard. Yes, I just like saying that word. Kumquats. Kumquats. Yeah. Uh, courgettes. I really like courgettes. Oh, courgettes. Okay. Yeah, because they taste like meat. They, re- they really are a savoury vegetable. Yes. Savour the flavours of the savoury vegetable. Now, I don't really understand how um, some vegetables people like and some vegetables they don't like, even though they are similar. Oh, yes. Such as? Courgettes and kamokamo, for example. What's a kamokamo? It's essentially a big courgette. Oh, marrow. What go with that? Ah. People don't like courgettes, but they like kamo kamo. It, it is basically a, a name assimilation. Oh. So, so, like, my dad doesn't like silver beet. Yes. Or it, because just like any young kid growing up in the 90s in Brussels sprouts. Mm-hmm. Because it was cooked so badly... That they decided not to have it. But uh, so I can cook Brussels sprouts pretty well. Up to the point that you like it as well. Yes, because it's cooked properly. Yes. <laughs> it's not overcooked and therefore becomes rancid. Yeah. <laughs> you can feed it to rats and they'll die. <laughs> or cockroaches. Or cockroaches. Cockroach. <laughs> First you get the money, then mm. you get the power, then you get the women. Yes. <laughs> Talking about um, women, do you think housewives should be paid? Well, house sprouses or housekeepers or, as I like to say, homekeepers because that's rather gender neutral. Oh, okay. It's gender neutral then, so, yeah. Okay. Um, Opens up the possibilities for other, for the other half of the population to, you know, stay at home and look after the kids. Now, you can... I'm not sure what how, how to put this, because essentially they are. How? Because they are paid... They are paid for having birth. How? When you have a baby, you get allocated money to for the start of the life. Oh, yeah? By the government? Yes. No, what I'm talking about here is should homekeepers be be given a salary? An actual salary? Yeah, but, but, but like, like, do you... Okay, okay, okay. Which private sector would, would be paying them? I don't know, but we already have housekeepers and paid cleaners and... Paid housekeepers, paid cleaners. Yes. I know, I know it's an old thing, but this job used to be paid for with yeah, 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 yeah but but maids, but it servants. is, but it is essentially outsourcing. Yes, but if you can control the household by yourself, yeah, then it's fine. Should house, but still, should homekeepers be paid by the government because uh, they do provide a valuable service? They work twenty four seven, basically. Yeah, and, and I say that they do. How? They get tax breaks. Really? Yes. Uh, it, it's not to the extent of the amount of money that a house that, that an outsourced housekeeper would get paid. Yeah. 
but they still receive tax breaks and incentives. Should they get paid more? <sighs> hmm. Also, I'm just wondering if we do end up pay, end up paying homekeepers like a salary, like an actual salary, and treat it like a job. Do you think they'll open up to open up for more men to actually become homekeepers? Because not now. Not now. Why not? not? Because uh, there's this thing called a wage gap. Yeah. If if that is if that but, but it's always the basis that the that the breadwinner is the person that goes away to work. Yes. Regardless of gender. Right. Um, I, there, there are becoming more and more examples. Yes. But it's on to the communication of the two parties to decide who stays and who goes. Yes. Yeah. But why can't we have homekeeping like, as a job? There is homekeeping as a job. There is housekeeping as a job. Oh, yes. And but that's outsourcing, as you said. Yes. How come we don't pay non-outsourced housekeepers? Because it is your house. Okay. Should housekeepers be given... Should homekeepers be given more tax benefits? I don't think they should. Why not? Purely because it's a, it's a sticking point. It's a very big sticking point. Because, one, they are technically getting paid a benefit, which means they are still technically getting paid. Yes. Right? Um, two, um, the difference between renting, boarding, and owning, mm. you have to differentiate that. Oh, Yes. Because a person who owns a house, why would you want them to pay them to essentially live in their own house? Yes, I see what you mean. But how come men are still not the default house homekeeper? Well, like I said before, it's purely based on economics. Oh, yeah, the gender gap. Yeah. So if, if the gender, gender gap is, is shrinking... Yeah. It'll become more examples of the man. Yeah, staying home, looking staying after, home. Care, looking after the yes. kids. And I fully admit, at the start, at, at the start, yes, mother has to be there. I think both parents have to be there. <coughs> no, no, well, well, I I consider I sincerely thought that for the first year of a child's life, both parents have to be there. Okay. Yeah. So, so you are doing the Scandinavian model. Yeah, the Scandinavian model, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because let me tell you, looking after kids a hard job. You need as much help as you can. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. I understand where you're coming from there. But I was I was more leaning towards the current New Zealand context. Yes. Um, yeah, it's sort of tricky because you have to consider every possible scenario. Yes. And and how the, the government has to re, has to pay as least as possible for the maximum return. Yes. <laughs> Two constraints. Yes. That's always a hard job to balance. Yes. Yeah. If you still want to contact um, the conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie, they can be found on their social media sites. Mike will be on at the Manus, T H E M A R N U S, on his various social platforms. Sophie, on the other hand, could be contacted on Sophie9709 on all platforms apart from Instagram. Also, you can contact the posts themselves on podcast related things on asyourundecided at gmail.com or find them on Twitter, Tumblr and Facebook at AYU Podcast. <laughs> so, was it, yeah, so that was quite monotone. 